Hi everyone, I just got back from my Riker dealership and I decided to get the BRP Riker windshield for my new bike. So here's what, it comes in a brown box and this is um, what comes in the box. So you've got four screws and they're gonna require a Allen wrench Boom, my trusty Allen wrench. And then this piece, I think goes like that. And then they give you this little sheet for instructions. And the instruction says, go to the internet for instructions. So the instruction is useless, but I think it's pretty easy. And it comes in this nice padded case, so it doesn't get scratched. And that's it. You have two pieces and four screws. So it should be a pretty easy install. And I'll be right back and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, one of the things they don't tell you about the helmet. So it's adjustable. It goes up and down on this lever, on this little track here. And this is, this piece right here, it goes up and down to lock it in place. So, a way to, you know, the way they have it right now, it is so hard that my girly little hands can't do it. So I am going to just adjust this um, little um, bolt, just a, turn a little bit to the left, just to loosen it a little bit. I don't want it to be too loose, but I want to be able to close it and, um, and change it around easily. So use a little bit more. I don't show you that in any of the other videos, which is weird. Okay, so yeah, now I can close. It's still really hard to open and close, but it's better. Kind of need two hands. Yeah, so I was able to open it, but it's kind of tight. So what I'm going to do, these are the two pieces. What I'm doing is I'm going to this in together so just clips right in and I'm going to line up see, line it up like that and I'm going to um, I'm going to try to put the screws in a little bit first just a little bit um, to try to get it lined up properly and let's see if this works and if you look over here you can see where the screws go that I'm going to be attaching it to So I have this sign lined up and I'm just going to just finger tighten it just a little bit because I want to be able to access the other side. quick and easy, so hopefully it all goes well. Now I'm going to line it up, get my other two bolts, and now this is a little tricky to kind of get in there and kind of feel it around. It's a little tough, a little tight squeeze to get in there for sure. Okay, this did take longer than expected to get this job done. Not because it was difficult, um, only because it is really tough to get your hands in here. And you have, for the top screw, there's four screws, the top ones on both sides are very hard to get to. So you have only have like a little tiny room to use the Allen wrench. And uh, my big one didn't work. You need a very small one. I'm a little surprised that K&M did not include this little cheap tool with their install, but with their kit. Um, but it is done. It is on there. Oh, that doesn't feel right. Oh, it's it's unlocked. That's why. So it takes a little bit of strength to push this in. 
And um, I'm not sure why this is loose. <laughs> I did something wrong. Okay, what was supposed to be a five minute install took me forever because in my package, it did not include um, the washers. So it only came with the bolts, but not the washers. So I tried to install it, tried to install it, and as you could see from a minute ago, that it was rattling and that wasn't okay. So I called the dealership up that I bought it um, and they said I was missing um, six millimeter flat washers. So make sure you check your bag for your parts and you comes with two washers. And the... Okay, so you're supposed to only use one washer and it's supposed to go in between. You can't even see it. It's supposed to go in between here um, where my finger is. So um, that didn't work for me. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm doing it slightly different. I'm using two washers on the outside to get it to um, stabilize a little more. Uh, it was shaking too much. So this is what I did of those six millimeter flat washers. It is done. It is on there nice and tight with the little jar rig that I did. So let me show you how it works. Sorry it's filthy because my hands have been all over it. So this is the locking mechanism and it is tight for a reason. And then awesome. So that's the low one and then it goes up a lot. So you have a nice little range there. I'll probably just keep it up and see how it goes. And it has these nice little air vents um, to kind of blow some air through there. Woo! It's awesome. I like how it says Can Am on it. Looks cool. Job well done.